Now that we have our server already purchased, we are ready to go forward with setting up packages. So the first thing we need to do is click on the URL right here next to reseller administration URL. This is the URL that you're going to use each and every time you need to set up a new account, manage any of your websites, anything like that. In fact, I just have this URL memorized and I actually just go directly to this in a browser rather than going through A2 hosting and then logging in like this each and every time. So go ahead and click on that. And then you're also going to need the username and the password listed down here. This is the username and password that you're going to use to log into your web hosting manager. So come on over to this tab and we'll go to login. You'll now be brought to this screen. If you look here under list accounts, you likely won't have any accounts listed in yours. Obviously mine is full with all of my different clients, but eventually you'll build up your clientele base and you'll have a list just like I do. So before you can actually add a client, we need to do something called creating a package. So if you come here to the left side, we're going to go and click on add a package. Now these packages, what they do is they determine what a user can or cannot do within their cPanel. So when, when you create a new, new website in here, you're going to create a cPanel account that you can give to the client. They can go in, they can change things, they can install WordPress, they can change themes, they can access files, I mean, you, you name it. But even within that, we want to restrict what they can and can't do. We want to restrict how much disk storage they can use, how much bandwidth they can use, how many FTP accounts, how many email addresses and you control that all through packages. So you could have three or four different tiers if you wanted, just like when we were looking in the previous video between purchasing bronze, silver, gold, or platinum, you could do the exact same thing for all of your clients. And with each tier, as they go higher and higher, they get more and more features. So for the base package, for example, we could give them very little. We could give them zero email addresses, zero FTP accounts, you know, maybe a, a gigabyte of disk storage and five gigabytes of bandwidth. I mean, you you choose, but um, for just the purpose of this, this video, we're going to set up one package and then I'll show you how to use that to set up a client in the following video. So over here, let's give our package a name. I'm just gonna go demo package. Disk quota, let's say we wanna give our, um, Let's say we wanna give our clients 5,000 megabytes or five gigabytes of disk storage. Um, remember that I'm on the silver plan and so we have 75 gigabytes total that we can allocate. So just be aware that if you do 5,000 per plan, how many plans can you make out of that, that five gigabytes until you fill up the full 75 gigs? Monthly bandwidth, I don't know, let's do 10,000 megabytes, so 10 gigs. Max FTP accounts, I don't wanna give them FTP accounts, so I'm gonna go zero, no email addresses, and then this won't take effect because we don't have any email addresses, no email list, databases, subdomains, park domains, anything like that. Scroll down here, um, don't give them a dedicated IP because even you don't have one, we didn't buy one when we were setting up the account. Probably don't give them shell access, that'll give them command line access to your specific server, which you probably don't want. Um, you can choose a theme here. Paper Lantern is the only thing that you can select. And then locale, English, perfect. We'll say add. Okay, it was a success. So that's really simple. Let's say we wanna set up another package, demo package two. Let's make this one just a little bit uh, higher. Let's do 7,500 megabytes and we'll do 12,000 megabytes of bandwidth. And then this package gets one email address and yeah, a gig is fine for their email account. And then we'll say add. Okay, so we now have created two packages that we can use in the next video when we go and add our very first client. So I'll catch you in that one.